In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make four verticals from spread really, really good against both man and zone. We're in the spread playbook today, taking a look, or the, uh, actually we're in the Bucks playbook, taking a look at the spread formation. And we've been taking a look at this all week, uh, kind of talking through just some different really good concepts from it. And today we're taking a look at the four verticals concept or the seams, uh, seam concept. Uh, it's also known as six in the air raid. How do you run this play to perfection? Four verticals, let's get on the field and talk about it. Um, really, it's simple. Uh, there's a couple of things that you can do that really hedge your bet in case it's main coverage. Like if I just call this against main coverage, you're going to notice I've got a couple routes that are going to win, but there's really not a lot open, as you can see. Um, so how do you make this play successful against both man and zone? Because against zone, it's one of the best plays in the game. If they run zone, um, these seams are going to be wide open. I can throw the ball to the tight end and right up the seam, just like that, super easy, and it's hard to use her that this year, okay? So how do we run this play, and how do we tailor this play to be able to be effective against zone? Real quick, if you guys didn't know, this is this entire ebook on the Air Raid is in my Patreon. Full breakdowns, everything you need uh, to run it, if you want to check that out. The full scheme is available by joining the Patreon. The link's in the description, 10 bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon, all of our eBooks, all of our updates, all right? So make sure you check that out. All right, so let's say that this is man. All we're gonna do is we're gonna streak the left side receiver because we don't want that route to become a post. We wanna leave that as a streak, okay, for our purposes. We're gonna uh, C route outside of Prentice, C route this left side guy. If you don't have outside of Prentice, put him on a comeback, okay? Um, and then what I like to do with Olave out here, I actually need to sub him out. Uh, let me make sure I have my right personnel. You want short out elite on the outside. You want short out elite on um, on the outside. That's actually really, really helpful. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have short and elite on the inside. And on the outside, we're gonna have short out elite, okay? Uh, that short out elite is super helpful for attacking press man. And then the C route is super helpful for attacking off man. So if they're in press man, your main read is going to be, can I throw this deep bomb to Tyreek Hill? As you can see right here, short out elite, oftentimes is gonna give you a little bit of separation on press man to man. So they can do a couple things. They can either play off man or they can just shade up. If they shade up, which is actually becoming very popular, if they shade up in man, this C route to the left side is going to be an absolute laser, as you can see right there. It's just super hard to guard that C route. Now, the other thing that's really good about this play is this route to the back. This route to the back here, he's going to basically almost always run this in route. Normally, we'll actually be able to beat man. He got knocked out right there, but he normally will actually be able to beat man on this little option route. Uh, and typically, that's going to be an in route against man coverage, as you can see right there. So I would leave the running back on that. Um, if you wanted to put the running back on an actual in route, the actual in route you'll see here, like doesn't get as much separation, doesn't run as deep, right? Um, against zone, he's going to curl. Oftentimes, he's going to curl in the middle of the field. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, let's get into um, let's get into one last thing against man, and that is an adjustment. So let's say they put this corner on the left side because you've been throwing C routes in an outside third. This is why you want to run your C route to the short side of the field. Really, really important. So you want to have your C route going to the short side of the field when you run it because if they run a third, you're going to see here, he's still going to be open. That third won't play it. Why not? Because of the streak. Even though the streak's manned up, because that third – um, just kind of knows, you know, he, he, he basically, it, also because of where the streak's at, because the streak is on the numbers, this really helps uh, because the third, he's in the grid of the third, and the third just won't play it, as you can see. Super effective, all right? So we're able to beat cover three, or uh, we're able to beat man with an outside third over on that side of the field. Now, the next thing is we can absolutely destroy zone, um, absolutely destroy zone. So the best zone for four verts is cover four. Uh, but you can throw this right in that little quick seam right there, as you can see. 
and it's gonna get it's gonna get to your receiver before the player gets there. So you want to be looking for these quick seam opportunities uh, with this play. Same with cover three. So what they're st another thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get these zone like chuck animations where they're gonna kind of press and then let the receiver run. That's just gonna leave them more open in the seam because the deep defenders are gonna continue to drift back, 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 even though EA said that was not any longer in the game. So as you can see, they're super effective for attacking cover three, cover two, or cover three, cover four. Now cover two, couple different things you could do. Really the my favorite thing against cover two is to try to throw this fade on the outside for a big play. If they're playing like what what's known as Tampa three, where they basically take these guys and they put them in outside thirds to illustrate I'm gonna just kind of really fan them out kind of thing. If they do that, you have some options. Um, your your straight seam, it might be there, but the route that really is gonna be there is your C route against something like that. So I would take your C route or your or your little route to the back. Okay. So super effective little play here, able to attack main coverage, able to attack zone coverage, how to attack the seams out of a four vertical play this year. Um, you know, this is one of the best years four verticals has had because these streaks, they just get open. They just, they just do. Uh, real quick against match coverage, before we take off, I want to show you this match coverage thing. So what about match? Um, against spread sets, match is terrible. Um, and the reason why is because there's this glitchy animation that occurs on the outside. And you can kind of like, I guess, make the animation even worse by just putting a streak, like instead of having the fade, put him on a streak. He's gonna run, he's just gonna straight run by the match coverage. And a lot of times you can throw this up and over as you can see right there, super easy little throw there. So I'm free-forming that up and to the outside um, just a little bit. So like 2 o'clock in that example if my joystick was clock. But what you'll see here is if you watch against match, they just run right there. You see how they glitch it? And then you can just throw it over the top. It's not good um, for the game, but it's just reality. You can also um, – the other thing you have against match, this receiver will sometimes get open deep. But we also have the C route, okay? So match coverage can give forward some problems, but if you're starting to get a lot of match, streak both outside receivers, and you will just see this thing just, just I mean, just kills match. Just kills match over the top. So that's how you run four verticals to perfection. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Patreon or get my entire ebook, it's in the Patreon. You can join that by clicking the link down in the description below.